On August 6 and 9, 1945, the United States dropped two atomic bombs over the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The two bombings still stand as the only instances of nuclear weapons being used in armed conflict, killing between 129,000 and 226,000 people, the majority of whom were civilians. The Allies prepared to invade the Japanese mainland in the final year of World War II. A conventional and firebombing campaign that obliterated 64 Japanese cities came before this project. When Germany submitted on May 8, 1945, the war in Europe came to an end, and the Allies immediately focused on the Pacific War. By July 1945, the Manhattan Project of the Allies had created two different kinds of atomic bombs. Fat Man, a nuclear weapon of the plutonium implosion variety, and Little Boy, a nuclear weapon of the enriched uranium gun variety. The Boeing B-29 Superfortress Silverplate version was trained for use by the 509th Composite Group of the United States Army Air Forces before being sent to Tinian in the Mariana Islands. In the Potsdam Declaration of July 26, 1945, the Allies demanded the unconditional surrender of the Imperial Japanese Armed Forces, stating that the alternative would be prompt and utter destruction. The ultimatum was chosen to be ignored by the Japanese government. Let's examine the 10 undiscovered facts about Hiroshima. The largest city on Japan's largest island, Hiroshima, also known as White Island in Japanese, was the first city in history to be hit by a nuclear weapon. At 8.15 on August 6, 1945, the U.S. Air Force dropped an atomic bomb on the city. The nuclear weapon, codenamed Little Boy, was flown in the belly of the American B-29 bomber Enola Gay. In spite of the fact that the bomb is thought to have instantly killed 80,000 people, the final death toll from radiation and other causes was estimated at 166,000. About 80% of the city's structures were destroyed by the uranium-based atomic bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima which was the equivalent of 20,000 tons of TNT. The mushroom cloud rose to a height of 25,000 feet. The oleander was selected as Hiroshima's official flower because it was the first to bloom and display signs of rebirth following the bombing. The only remaining living things in the area were six ginkgo trees, which were growing about one kilometer from the atomic explosion in 1945. The ginkgo trees recovered quickly and are still alive today. Since their origins can be traced back 250 million years, these trees are sometimes referred to as living fossils. The city trams, which also withstood the explosion, were actually used to transport the injured away from the explosion's epicenter. Some of these trams are still in use today, which gives the Japanese people pride in them as symbols of their tenacity. The Bank of Japan building, which was about 400 meters from the explosion site, also survived, and many of the occupants who sought refuge inside the bank were saved thanks to its thick walls. The personification of a nuclear bomb in the 1954 movie Godzilla, or Gojira in Japanese, was actually inspired by the Hiroshima tragedy in 1945. The beast's preferred weapon was its radioactive heatwave-shaped atomic breath, which it exhaled from its jaws. The mayor of Hiroshima is the president of an international organization called Mayors for Peace, which works to abolish all nuclear weapons worldwide by the year 2020. The Hiroshima city government continues to support the elimination of all nuclear weapons. At the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park, a peace flame that was lit in 1964 will keep burning until all nuclear weapons have been destroyed.